What's up, YouTube? Maven here, and welcome back to another modern gameplay video. Get your popcorn out, because we got an interesting one today. This is Phyrexian food that user Zoro 7 by 4 took to a 5-0 finish in a modern league. That's crazy. Um, I don't know how they 5-0 a league with this, but we're about to find out. Because uh, it's, it's a wacky one for sure. So um, Phyrexian Vindicator. There is four of these in here. And looking at the rest of the deck, you would never expect to see Phyrexian Vindicator in a deck like this. <laughs> but I think, um, it, well, the mana base supports it, except, you know, the Urza Saga's everything else is white, so everything can cast it. Um, and then also this guy, this new dude, uh, S Serith Steelseeker, I believe he makes... He can he can uh, ramp us with lands. Whenever an artifact enters, we we'll look at the top card of our library. If it's a land, we can put it into play. Wait, if it's a land card, we put it into our hand. If not, put it into the graveyard. Okay, I see. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to ramp this guy out. And then it says if damage would be dealt to him, uh, prevent the damage, and then he deals that much damage to any other target. So then if we read the Primo food card, as Murano, Mardukadeus, and Akoldakar, um, you can sacrifice two foods to make target creature deal six damage to itself. So since we're making so much foods with this deck, we're just going to be able to blast our Vindicator so he can shoot our opponent's face. I think that's the idea of this deck. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the ways we have to get out Asmorano, you can only play Asmorano if you discarded a card this turn. And then you can play one black or red to cast it. So there are two ways. There is a uh, finale of devastation, which just for two mana, we can literally go and grab this directly into play. So it's just a two mana Asmorano. So that is like one of the synergies you always see when you see Asmorano. But then we also have Unearth. So if we happen to find the Underworld cookbook earlier and we can we have Asmorano in our hand, we can just discard it and then unearth it. There's that, I guess. Um, we have more ways to make food like Gilded Goose. And then, of course, since we're making foods, we got Academy Manufacturer. So if we make a clue, food, or treasure, we make all of those. So that's going to make us go crazy big with value in the end. Oval Chase, of course, is the infinite uh, discard outlet. We can discard it. Then a food enters from the cookbook, and then we just get it right back to hand. We can dis discard it forever. And this is a Urza Saga deck, so the one-man artifacts we get to grab are, of course, the Underworld Cookbook, as well as Springleaf Drum if we need mana, and that also helps us ramp into the Vindicator. And then uh, the Shadow Spear, of course, because we're making those big, fat constructs sometimes. And that is basically it. Seems pretty far-fetched. I mean, when in doubt, Urza Saga just wins on its own normally because it's a broken magic card. Um, however, I want to see if we can get some Vindicator wins because it seems like it could work. So on to the sideboard, we have Dranith Magistrate to shut down certain strategies like Cascade. And then we have Hollowed Moonlight to stop things like Indomitable Creativity and Living End. We have Orvar in case the opponent has Archon of Cruelty so we can clone it. And we have Fatal Push for, you know, cheap aggro. A couple copies of Beseju for, um, you know, Stony Silence type stuff and stuff that shuts us down. Uh, we have Haywire Might to grab off of our Urza Saga, just in case we need to blow up something. Nihil Spellbomb to hit the graveyard. Pie the Needle to name walkers like Karn. And then an Emrakul to stop things like uh, Mill. So that is about it. What's up, 12? We're going to get out of the gameplay here. But first, as always, a quick shout out to our sponsors. Shout out to TCGplayer.com, the best marketplace on the internet to your Magic the Gathering singles, sealed products, accessories, anything magic related you want it. They got it with a variety of sellers all across the nation so you can pick and choose the best prices for you. Anything you purchase through our deck list link down below, our TCG player link down below will help support the channel. And then shout out to Mana Traders for making it possible for me to even play MTGO for YouTube. I'd never be able to buy all these decks because it's crazy expensive. But with a service like Mana Traders, for an affordable monthly fee, they allow you to rent and play all the decks you want to play on Magic Online. So if you want to play Magic Online but don't want to spend a fortune, you should check out Mana Traders. Link down below with the code for 10% off. And then finally, shout out to our Patreon supporters, these lovely, beautiful people here, for helping to support this channel all these years and keep it possible to do. Y'all are the real MVPs. If you want to join the Patreon as well, link down below. And now let us get on to the gameplay. Leave predictions. What is our record going to be?
Um, I'm going to say three and two. I feel like the deck is going to be better than I think it is, but I feel like it's not going to... I feel like some things are going to shut it down. <laughs> like, I don't know what to think about this deck because it is so out there. It is so far-fetched. I mean, it has sagas and a bunch of artifacts, so you can never go wrong with that. I, I guarantee you we're going to get, like, more than a couple saga kills today just from the construct tokens with the shadow spear because that's broken enough. So I'm going to say three and two. Looks a little janky, but if five vote a league, I literally five vote a league. If my face looks a little miscolored today, it's because um, I'm running out of uh, makeup and my like the the kind of makeup that I would usually get. They don't stock it anymore, so I had to use a different shade. Um. All right, so we have Asmerano out of our OK, I'm going to keep this. So if we can keep our finale and not get a thought seized, then we're good. And then Vindicator's on the way. OK, cool. Don't be monkey. Don't be monkey. Oh, it's monkey, isn't it? Dang it. The monkey. They have so much they can steal from our deck. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll just go for uh, Indotha Trial and Pass. All right, monkey gets in. What are they stealing from us? Don't be as Murano. Flooded Strand. Okay, why is there a Flooded Strand in here? Is there even any blue mana? It's the worst feeling. What's the worst feeling? <laughs> so you're going to a, an EDH tournament later, Shroom? Or is it like online? Oh, it's, it's Zoo. Oh, I love what I'm seeing. Okay, now I'm happy to see monkey. Always gotta love Zoo. But good thing I have a 3-3 blocker now, but hopefully they don't have a bolt for it. Search library. Asmerano, Asmerano, give me a cookbook. Uh, oh, I can't play the cookbook. All right. That'd be broken if it went to play. IRL here at the con. Oh, there's a con there. Nice. I'm surprised to... Wait, what? There's a con and there's no commander games going on right now? It's crazy. I'd expect at a, at a con there'd be a lot of magic going on all the time. Oh, is it like not like a magic... Uh, the gathering thing is is it like a comic con or something you in san diego galia oh we literally play this on the channel i love this i love this i'd be happy to lose to this like if we like the akum too like we literally played this exact deck on the channel whenever there's a zoo deck on the horizon uh you know that i am down to um Play it. All right, let's take out Monkey instead of Gallia. Even though Gallia provides card advantage, I'd rather not have them ramp and steal my cards. All right, so now uh, we may have to just get a food and crack it and gain life. Because we are very close. We are very close to our Phyrexian Vindicator. Um... Is that what I do? And then next turn I can shock and play the Vindicator? Hurts. I think it's what I do. I'm just gonna do it now before we get like a Tarkus commanded and they make us not gain life. So just do it now. Pass turn. <laughs> if they have a Tarkus command, though, we're just getting absolutely obliterated here. They're just going to alpha and do it, and we're dead.
Galia gets them card advantage here, so. Rushfire Elemental. Alright, it's getting a buff. It's getting two buffs. That gets plus two, plus two whenever a land enters. So I'm forced to block one of their big dudes because they can make this thing into a five. Yeah, so I have to block a uh, wild in the cattle. And that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I go to one. If I take this, I go to... I go to three. And I, I need to do that because I need to play Vindicator, right? But then again, I'm dead. I'm dead. So... Yeah, all right. On to the sideboard. And this time we get to be on the play. Give me these fetal pushes. And, um... What are we cutting? Uh, I guess these Ser Serith guys are a pretty filler. Man, I miss being able to play Zoo on the channel. It's a gaming con, so lots of games of all kinds. Nice. Dude, I've, I always wanted to wanted to go to a Mortal Kombat tournament. I feel like I could place pretty high in, in like, if it's MKX or MK11. Is I, I feel like I'm pretty good at Mortal Kombat. Um, all right. This is painful looking hand, but I, I'm gonna keep it because I have Urza Saga. And that can help me. That can help me. Period. I don't understand why there's a flooded strand in here. <laughs> or Aaron Mesa. But then again, it can fetch all the lands. And we don't have any basic forest. So I, it makes total sense. Like, I don't see why not. Goose would have also given you the second food to kill a creature. You're right, you're right. And then I could have chumped with it. Goose would have been better. Broccol Broccoloptimus Prime. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Narnam Renegade. Nam Nam. Whenever you see an R and a N next to each other, it just looks like another M. Um... All right, let's go for Urza Saga. And then we'll just use Goose to make another food here. See, if I had a Indatha Trium, I could have went Cookbook, Discard Manufacturer, and then um, Unearth the Manufacturer. That'd be cool. All right, it's time for Burning Tree into Windhoof Boar. Nope, another Nam Nam. And Wild Nakaddle. Hearing Andrea Mangucci say Nakaddle was one of the funniest things I've seen in MPG. But that's rude to make fun of people's accents, but it's just he said it funny, okay? He said it funny. Okay, um, I'll go for basic planes and then just, like, make a token, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I could also go with Underworld Cookbook here. And then, like, discard the manufacturer so that next turn I can unearth it. But I'm getting a basic plane. Okay, you know what? That actually... That makes sense. I'll I'll do that. It makes sense. Cause like next turn I'll be able to get the manufacturer and still make a saga token, because I have two foods to crack.
All right, let's do the thing here. Uh, first, let's actually do this so that our guy can be bigger and maybe not get bolted. So ditch manufacturer to get another food preemptively, and then our guy will be a 4-4. So he won't be in bolt range. But they could also have a, a Tarkus command, in which case that would suck. So let's think about this. If they have a Tarkus command, will I die? That'd be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I would live. And then I'd be able to float and then go and grab Shadow Spear and equip it and attack. But if they also have a Bolt, if they have like a Tarkus command plus Bolt, I'd be dead. Uh, this is tough. I feel like they wouldn't swing their Nakaddle knowing I have the Construct token. I think I'm going to risk taking it. Because I can live on one through an Atarkus command, and I just got to hope that they don't have Bolt as well. So let's just take it. And then I think I need to... I think I might need to go and grab a Springleaf... No, 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 of course, I need the Shadow Spear. So I'll be able to unearth my Academy Manufacturer next turn and then trigger the thing to make a food. I'll be able to crack a food, gain life. No, I need to equip the Shadow Spear. There's the Atarkus. So I live on one. I live on one. Yes. Okay. Good. Don't bolt. Don't bolt. What's up, Crash? Oh, man. It's actually been a while since I've seen you here. Welcome back. How you been? Good to see you. Hugs, I didn't see. Did I greet 12? Hugs, 12. Welcome back. All right, so I think I can't make a construct. I think I just got a float. And then let's go ahead and fetch. And get a Shadow Spear. And then we will equip Shadow Spear. And then unearth. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Then I can play Urza Saga and then I, ha I have enough mana to crack a food. So unearth. Manufacture. Play Saga. Okay. Um, my guy will die to the, the Narnam Renegade blocking it. But I have to attack, right? I don't have to, I don't have to attack. But if they have like smash to smithereens or something, I'd be omega screwed. I think I just have to get in for some damage, right? Just get in for as much as I can. I won't be able to block something. I I won't be able to block anything in the backswing here. I can make three artifact tokens to make this guy into a nine nine. If they have any direct burn, that'd be the death of me? No, because... I think I just gotta hope to dodge a smash of smithereens, honestly. I have to stay back. Oh, it hurts! Was that the right decision? Alright, let's 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 discard um, the windswept teeth. And let's crack a food now before we get, like, skull cracked uh, by the Atarkas command. And then now we have a very big blocker that can gain us eight life. Just need to not see Smash to Smithereens. They have two cards left. Oh, they're fetching. They're doing something right away that they want to do. Don't be it. Don't be it. Don't be it. Don't be it. No. 
Oh, this definitely smash. Oh, it's definitely smash. Please, please don't be it. Okay, I'm I'm down to one. Oh, they just have two more targets commands. Oh no, they're gonna shoot my face for one. Ren and six and zoo. And why is this thing so squished? There we go. <laughs> oh, Ren and six and zoo. Why? All righty, GG. And on to the next one. Um, I'm glad that that was what we lost to because the deck is awesome. I think this is the person we just fought. Um, is this? Did we just was was red? Was this person the one we just played against? For the video, GG. Uh, yo, Solomance gifted three months. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Solomance gifting three months of tier one to Crash? What? Solomance, are you even... Your, your... Your name has been, like, glitching out late. Are you here? Is Solomance here? Oh my goodness, is that real? Is that a real thing? Gifting three months of tier one to Crash? That is extremely generous, if so. That's nutty. Thank you so much. And like you're you're not even subscribed yourself and then you're over here gifting all these subs. That's insane. That's next level generosity. Putting others before yourself like that. All right, this is going to be a mulligan. Probably we don't have anything to do that one. We will keep it, I guess, like, I guess we got to throw away Vindicator for now. Always yes, always yield. Rarely there, time zones, yeah. It's probably, I don't know what time it would be in, in Russia right now. I have no clue. My guess is that it is like midnight right now. All right, it is Tron. It is Tron. All right, I need one land. One land for my Asmirano. But then after that, we're not really doing much. I feel like I should have just kept my opening hand. It had I had the guy that like gives us land ramp, but like I felt like that wasn't enough. Oh, it's blue Tron. I feel like I haven't fought green Tron in so long. Like, I, I think I've seen nothing but Blue Tron the past, like, year. All right. I think this is going to be a scoop, but we'll just we'll just play it out, see what happens. See if the opponent's got some any unique spice or if it's just typical Blue Tron. Almost three? Jeez, so you're like a full, uh, you're like a full 12 hours ahead of me. Now I know, but I'm sure, like, 
Russia is so big that I'm sure there's many different time zones there. And we don't have the second land for this guy. I thought he was a one drop initially when I saw the deck. I didn't know he was a two drop until I queued the deck up on Moto, actually. <laughs> He'd be crazy valuable if he was a one drop, though. Eight different time zones? Oh my goodness, I thought there'd only be like four. One for uh, Eastern Europe, one for Moscow, one for Siberia, and one for whatever the East is. I don't know the name of it. What is that side of Russia called that, like, kind of connects to, to Alaska? And is that area even, like, populated much? Like, oh my goodness, I'm not getting lands. I think we're just going to scoop it up. Because, like, now, like, the opponent's got so many condescends in hand that whenever I find the mana for something, it's never going to resolve. And now there's a batter skull. I think it's time to just scoop it up, honestly. Like... I, I, I misclicked so many times and YouTube comment section is going to be so mad at me for that. It's ruthless in the YouTube comment section. People just have no chill. Well, let's move on. Uh, we'll take our L there and we'll go on to game number three. It's not like that normally. It's not. I mean, it kind of is sometimes, but not to that level, not to that level of severity. All right, let's go on to game three here again. Zip and we're going to be in the draw. Yeah, keyboard warriors, that's what they call them. Keyboard warriors are ruthless. They win every battle. You cannot fight with them. They will win every time. All right, this is going to be a... Wish I had a cookbook. This looks pretty mediocre when you think about it, but... I, uh, I'll keep that, I guess. Like, uh, any, like, there's a few draws that can make this hand better. Alrighty, Lil Thwain. They got a Lil Thwain. That's what I like to see, because any deck that plays Lock Thwain is usually a cool deck. Like, there, I don't think that, I mean, except if it's Demir Control, but any other deck that plays Lock Thwain is usually a really cool deck, even if it's like Mono Black Invoke to Spare. So yeah, see, it's going to be a small pox deck, which is pretty cool. Nerd Rage is universal. I know, right? Um, okay. I could go to discard, which would allow me to put Asmirano in my graveyard so that I can unearth it. Or I could just play stuff. I think let's just play stuff because we're working our way up to the Vindicator here. Elf Lord Gucci, welcome to the stream. I predicted a three and two with this deck, so in theory, we should win our next three games. Dude, it's crazy how fast it gets hot in here. Because when, before I started the stream, I had the AC on for like two hours so that it can be cool during the stream, but it's already hot again. <laughs> All right, Liliana is going to make me discard a card, which is actually fine. All right, well, let's unearth our Asmirana. That allows us to go and get the old cookbook. And then we can go with, um, planes, and then we can equip Shadow Spear.
and then we can play cookbook and pass but they're like the equip shadow fear and fetch for basic planes play was pointless because they're just gonna mine as lilianas anyways but still forcing them to do it they could just push though so that they can keep taking their lily up which could be a problem all right here comes the cauldra I wish Vindicator had Vigilance. That'd be great. It seems like the kind of card that would. All right, gonna make me discard a card, which I will discard. Man, I really need all these cards, actually. So it kind of sucks. Because now they're going to be able to just mine us on my Vindicator. So yeah, Liliana on the play definitely wins games. It's hard to beat that. Hard for anything to beat that. Like, you have to just, like, straight up kill the Lily or... um. You know, with like a spell, not not by creatures, or you just lose to it. And onto the sideboard against smallpox, we're going to bring in Hiving Needle, so we can name either Stone Frog or Lily. And then Haywire Might Exiles, right? Exile target non-creature artifact. Or non-creation chain. Okay. So I'll bring in that for the, the the equipments. And then we will bring in Push can take care of Stoneforge, I guess. This Sabbath Seeker guy is like super filler. And then we can cut. What do we cut? Oh, there's Orvar. So if they have Lily and make us discard this, we can like copy their Lily. That'd be interesting. It wouldn't be particularly great, though. Lily wouldn't really do as much good. Go with one push, screw it. Oh, you gotta go to, uh... Oh, Solomance is leaving. See ya, Solomance. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for gifting that sub to Crash. I really appreciate it. I hope you're here to hear that. All right, we are one green short of finale. That's a, that's unfortunate. Um, we're also one land short of being able to activate Saga. Oh, rough, 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 rough. Um, I think we're gonna have to mulligan. Like, it's relying too much on a land, which we only have twenty of in the library out of fifty three cards. And you know me, I will not draw it. <laughs> so, um. I think I'm gonna mole. That one we will keep. And I think I'm just gonna ditch the cookbook for now since Asmirano off the finale can get me another one. Um, however, on second thought, I should have kept the opener, the opening seven, because I just remembered we're going up against a Thoughtseize Inquisition deck and that they're just going to be able to ruin my hand if I mulligan. And it looks like that's happening. I'm gonna lose my finale. Oh, never mind. We're good. All right. So um, I guess we just go for Asmirano. Now the other question is, do I play Saga next turn, or do I start working my way up to Vindicator and just play only White Sources? I think that if I draw a white land, I think I'm going to go for the white source. But if I don't, I think I'll just play the saga. Yeah, Vindicator can is just a single target that can easily be dealt with, right? So, and also it can be sacked to smallpox. All right, yeah, I'll go for the saga here.
And let's attack for three. And then just play two cookbooks and a haywire. You know, maybe I shouldn't have played the haywire. Maybe I should have, have sandbagged it before, like, until they found one of their equipments and then brought it out. Ah, uh, tear. All right, well. We're still close to our Vindicator. Mardu, wait. Yeah, so Mardu smallpox haywire mites kind of saving our asmerano here from a smallpox we're very low in our card count in hand though so we're very vulnerable because that deck has a lot of discard which is why i should have brought in orvar right <laughs> all right prismatic ending takes care of our asmerano Getting there for one. All right, another Vindicator. If our hand gets undealt with or all they have is Inquisition specifically, and I get to keep my Vindicators, then uh, all will be well once we find our fourth white source. Double Vindicator seems pretty good. They're cycling Timeless Dragon. I want to play this card again so bad, you don't even understand. Because this is like one of my favorite cards. Like, ever since it came out, it's just such a very underplayed card. It's very, very good. Being able to, like, cycle for a land early if you need your land drops, which I typically do, <laughs> like, especially right now, I could use a planes. Or, and then, like, when you do that, you can then just play it as a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four from the graveyard, which is nutty, or it can be a 5-mana five 5-5, five, five, and then die, and then come back as a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. It's so solid. And then that, like, is in that same kind of card. Another reason I like this kind of card is because I very much like the Curator of Mysteries. It's not, wait. I always get it mixed up. Can somebody, exclamation point card, Curator of Mysteries. Yes, the cycling, the cycling sphinx. Oh, uh, no, the lily at the worst time. So now I discard one of these and then I draw my fourth land. I play one and then just make me sack it. So again, the Liliana shuts us down entirely. So GG. All right, let's move on to the next game. I mean, there was there was the opportunity that I top decked my single tin piving needle, but, you know, not going to count on that. All right, so let's just go ahead and update a record. True and predicted a two and three, so it looks like we are on track for that, but my three and two is dead. So we're going up against Andrew three, and we're going to go, or we're going to be on the play, the draw. So Curator of Mysteries, like, the fact that it can be a four mana, four, four flyer, or just be a cantrip for one is ridiculously good. Like, wherever people, like, I always wondered, like, why? Like, wherever people play things like Serum Visions or, you know, Preordain, not Preordain, you get it, you get it, you understand, not Preordain, but, like, for Modern and Pioneer, wherever people play these one mana cantrips, you could just play the Sphinx, and it could be an alternate win con, or your cantrip. I understand some scenarios where it's like, you know, with Consider, you want to fill your grave with it, with Serum Visions, you're trying to dig for something specifically, so you need the Scry. But still, I would rather take the potential 4-mana four 4-4 four, four flyer if I draw it, like, late in the game. Because, like, imagine you, like, it's turn, it's turn 6, everybody's exhausted their stuff, and it's like, I could either have this one mana cycle or I could have a four mana four four flyer at this point in the game. I'd rather take the four mana four four flyer. 
Ley line binding on my goose, like straight away. Jeez. Aggressive. So we're going up against Money Pile. And if I can get a cookbook here, that'd be great. I do not. So let's just go for this uh, Serith uh, Steel Seeker guy. We can finally try this guy out for once. See why he's so good. If only we had Artifact Lands. Vindicator. Dang, if I played Goose last turn, we'd be able to play Vindicator this turn. All right, so let's just go for um, Goose. Goose Fraw Ball. All right, make a food. And also, the Goose can continually make food tokens every turn to trigger this guy. So that's pretty good synergy. Put the card into your graveyard. Wait. Oh, you may put into a graveyard. So yes, I will put that into the graveyard because I can get it back. So that already was value. All right, let's attack for one here. That didn't count as a discard, so I can't play Asmorano, so. Used to have to pay five just for the four, four flying body. Now times have changed. Yeah, it's crazy. Power creep is real. Modern Horizons 2 was the power creep era, and now we're past that and everything else can never be as good as Modern Horizons 2. Unless they do Modern Horizons 3 dirty, we'll see. All right, EOT, let's go and get our Ndotha Triome. And now let's go for a Phyrexian Vindicator. Uh, let's attack first for one here. Planes. Vindicator. And it gets counterspelled. Wow. Five color money pile playing counterspell. So it's just, oh, no, 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 no. This is blue white control. I'm stupid. This is, this is Azuria's control. They just have the splashes here for the triumphs for the, the binding. So it's just blue white control. So this is going to be a long one. Sit tight. We'll be here a while. Um, so I think we just go for finale for Asmorano. We were just one mana away from being able to do that uh, for our for another Vindicator. All right, let's get Asmorano. Cookbook. And play cookbook. Counterspell. Rip. Well, let's go to combat and get in there for one. And pass. Another chance at it. All right, let's go to combat and uh, run ourselves right into a shark typhoon. But I have a food token, so I can kill the shark. Alrighty. Um, I could just slam an oval chase daredevil. That might be a little bit safer of a play. Let's do that. Because they're pretty low. This this Sarah's already got in for like five damage. Solitude. All right. I'll probably uh I'll probably poison it. All right, let's let's poison it.
Wait, how are they at 16? They didn't. I was supposed to gain like, oh, wait. It dealt six damage to itself. Oh my goodness. I've never thought that I would see that happen. All right, so let's get in there for, um, for these and then, you know, I don't think I'm going Vindicator here. I think I'll just go finale for the cookbook because if they cast the Supreme Verdict, I'll have more of a follow-up with the Vindicator. So let's just go for this. And now I could grab the Asmorana from my grave. Oh no, got exiled. Never mind. All right, gets countered. And then we'll just pass and make a food with our goose. And the goose will be able to buy us back the oval chase daredevil from our graveyard. Elishinor and mommy of machines. All right, let's respond. And get back. Um, do we want to draw this? Um... I mean, it, we can trigger it, but do we want this? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I want a discard outlet. I want to find a cookbook because I need to poison this outlet. Oh, I can't even kill it. It only, the poison, the food only deals six damage with the food poisoning. Um. I guess we just go for the Vindicator. And pass. Try to fly over top of this thing. They play their Ottawa rather than saving it for the Vindicator. Also, they can just hard cast Solitude and still leave up a counter spell. They're exiling the. What? I don't even remember. Serenth. I don't even remember his name. And they draw two cards. Wall of Omens is their last card. Jeez. They had everything they needed. <coughs> Alrighty, so let's go for another Vindicator. And then, um, I guess pass. Let's just fetch here while we can. Uh, sure, let's get a Gala Shrine, even though we don't really need double black for anything. They play a tap land and no attacks. All right, our dude's getting in. Still haven't drawn any discard. All right, let's go to combat and get in there with our, our dude. Our dude, man. If I had any way to discard and play as Murano, I could, I could kill the opponent here by, like, making... by food poisoning our, our own Vindicator and shooting them for six in the face. But alas, here we are. Hard cast a Daredevil. Dress down. What does that do? I don't think that really does not anything. But you know what would be hilarious, though? If when I went to food poison my own Vindicator, if the opponent dressed down in response to that, so I, it literally just died. <laughs> I got baited into killing my own creature. So they did that just a cantrip. Another solitude. Oh my goodness, stop. Ban this card.
Yep. Um, sure, I'll shock and make a food. Oh man, I'm getting screwed. All right, I'm gonna save this uh, Daredevil for when I finally get a cookbook. And uh, let's just pass and then we'll start just like hooking up food to crack. Um, Doubled Solitude's pretty good against this deck. Yeah, for sure. Chow is on zero. Um, and yeah, Teferi is the is the stone that broke the camel's back. The straw, not the stone. I never used that expression before in my life, so I didn't reckon I didn't realize which word it was at the start. Um, all right, so give us um what do we want here? Haywire might can kill the ley line bindings. I guess I'll bring in one. And then that's it. Just the one. We'll cut one of these uh, steel seekers, even though in this matchup they're decent. If the opponent doesn't have sweepers, I actually don't think they have sweepers. Maybe they're in the sideboard, but I don't even have them because they're like committing to the board with Elish Norn. And they have like a wall of women's to block with. What's up, Alex Steelcaster? Alex Telecaster? GG. Were you our last round opponent? I think um, I think I fought somebody named Telecaster. Um, all right, so this hand we will keep because we got the Saga and the Goose. So we can activate the Saga. And the Steel Seeker is going to be pretty good here. Never mind, that is where I got Telecaster. Telecaster sounds like Steel Seeker. All right, Saga. Steel Caster. So we're going to miss out on a, on a Construct token next turn to play the drum, but then the turn after that we'll be able to do it off of our Steel Seeker guy, as long as it doesn't get exiled. All right, looks like I got the land, so I'll be able to get my constructs anyways. Nice. Um, however, I could take a risk here and go for the Springleaf Drum. I think... Mm. No, that's too risky. That's too risky, because they'll be like... They'll know... They'll know that I'm going to use the Spring Leaf to activate Urza Saga. I'm not going to, like, they're going to counterspell that, and then I won't be able to get my construct. They, they're, they're smart. People who play Blue Eye Control are smart. Don't blame me for my name choice. My 13-year-old chose that name. I think we had a conversation about this in the last stream when you were here about, like, Telecasters. I've never actually played a Telecaster before. I had a couple Stratocasters before in my life, but I don't think I've I've ever played a Telecaster. I I didn't have like Shroom was telling me though how Fenders are like such a different world to like knock off Stratocasters. Cause I had a knockoff one and then I had a Squire one. <laughs> so that was a long time ago when I was young. Cookbook. I already have a cookbook, though, and I think I want lands, so I'm going to throw that in the grave. All right, we'll make another thing here. And here comes the dress down. 
Yes, that's that goes into my hand, right? What do you wait? Land card, you may reveal it. How do I reveal it? Because every time I click this, it went to the grave. Okay, there we go. It went to hand. Good. Now I assume we're getting dressed down. Um Haywire might can stop a ley line binding, but there is no ley line binding yet. But they got all these 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 lands like this. I think I will probably go for the Haywire Might. Just in case of the ley line binding. I don't need Shadow Spear in this matchup. We're not too concerned. Oh, another card going into my hand. Nice. Steel Seeker putting in work already drew me two cards. So, uh. Um, but I can play Vindicator next turn if I go for the White Source. Yeah, I want to force the dress down, so let's just go for the, the, the White Source here. And then off the drum, we'll play the cookbook. Yeah, see, I knew they'd counter that. I knew it. But also, there's no reason I shouldn't have played Urza Saga if I knew I was going to resolve the Spring Leaf because then I'd be able to play the Vindicator next turn anyways. But they countered it. So there we go. There's my justification. Squires are all are the kinds of guitars you get in a $100 starter kit from Guitar Center along with a tiny amp. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if that's how I got mine. I don't remember. It's been many, many years, but I did have one. Okay, so that happens. I was walking myself right into that one, but I technically only lost two creatures there. Or one creature, just the Steel Seeker, because everything else was literally free off the Saga, because Saga is that balanced. All right, so let's go for a Saga now. And then we'll go for another Steel Seeker. Cookbook. Vindicator. Oh, man. I kind of want to keep that. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it. I, I want to keep it and then just go like triple Vindicator when I finally get my white source. Because like in this matchup, I'm going to have to play threat after threat after threat and just keep the pressure up. So having the option of triple Vindicator later is going to be great. But the next couple turns, I think I'm just going to do the the saga thing very is gonna bounce my guy all right well time to just hold up the saga All right, EOT, let's do the the this thing. In your opinion, which format? Hold on, let me do my turn. In your opinion, which format lets the imagination go wider? Modern Pioneer. Modern, probably. You got a wider, wider card pool. And Modern uh, is actually a lot more chill and less sweaty than Pioneer. Pioneer is hyper sweaty. Like, every format has meta spam back to back to back. You know, like, you'll run into meta constantly. But even more so in Pioneer. All right, let's go for a cookbook, number two. And then... Go to Combat... And we can threaten lethal here, so let's just attack our opponent and force them to use something. 
because I, I can do the thing. So they're going to Archmage's Charm to steal our guy, which it is a 1-1. One, one. All right, let's pass. Everyone in Pioneer is packing S tier. Yeah, Pioneer has ridiculous card quality. Like, seriously, you could bring a Pioneer deck into a modern tournament and actually do well with it. Like, a, a top tier Pioneer deck can, can compete in modern for sure. Pioneer is slowly just becoming modern at this point. All right, Ditch Oval Chase. It's Jewel Chase. Jules, what's up? Welcome back. And uh, okay, there's my Asmarano. I don't have double green actually. Um, so we'll just go for. Combat, and then we'll just follow up with Academy Manufacturer. We can make our dude absolutely huge, which I should have actually done this pre-combat. Okay, they're going to do something here. Ottawa, they're going to bounce it, sure. All right, play Manufacturer. Hopefully they don't counter this. Dude, Manufacturer with the Steelcaster, that is ridiculous value. All right, we can actually play our Steelcaster here, so let's do the Daredevil thing. Yes. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Turn off all... Hold on, I want to see if this works. I don't think it will. Turn off all yields. Hold control. Discard Daredevil. So if I do this... Oh, never mind. I don't have any more ways to discard it. And then sack our treasures to play this guy. Rakdos is miserable to play against. Yeah, like Rakdos and Pioneer is ridiculously powerful. It is very, very powerful. It has such high card quality. Liliana, Thoughtseize, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Shieldred. It's got like crazy quality cards. It even has like modern removal like Push and Dreadbore. It's just straight up a modern deck. All right, um, let's go to combat and let's run our. Oh, I could have played Asmorano last turn. Yeah, Blood Tithe is very strong. I take that. All right, let's go for Academy Manufacturer and then into Asmorano. Here is where the shark typhoon happens, right? All right, Seraph. Uh, yeah, let's put that in our graveyard. Get ridiculous value here. So much value. Put that into the graveyard. Put that into my hand. Put that in my hand. Dude, so much value. And let's do it again.
That's a lot of triggers. I got two of them in my graveyard. Goose to the graveyard. Oval chase to the graveyard. Oval chase to the graveyard. And now let's go for um, Finale of Devastation. It's actually Shock Temple Garden first, and then do it this way so that we have uh, Sensor covered. They counter it. Yep. And Solitude is out. I can't believe they didn't play that Solitude earlier. <laughs> Hit my manufacturer. The fairy is back. Please minus. Okay, next turn I have the potential to win the game. And the opponent's got nothing in hand. Don't minus. Okay, I actually wanted them to... Oh no. Oh no, they're bouncing their own solitude. Dang it, they'll be able to kill my Asperano. I have the I have lethal because I could play Vindicator, uh, finale for Asmerano and food poison my Frags and Vindicator a million times. Dang it. But now that stops it. All right, well, let's uh, let's do it. All right, Asmerano. And then we'll go for a Vindicator. Please let it resolve. Please let it resolve. Please, if they if they let this resolve, they're screwed. If they don't know. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I just win. If they respond, if they respond, I just do it again and again, right? I'm pretty sure I just win here. I food poison it now. They respond by solituding, but then I respond by food poisoning and food poisoning. So yeah, this is just lethal. Shoot their face. Got him. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Finally, we got the food poisoning kill. Heck yeah. I didn't think it happened today. Alrighty, so um, I'm probably going to bring in Pything Needle for the Teferis. And then just take out another. But the Steel Seeker is so good. Alright, let's cut one on Earth. Let's actually cut two on Earth and bring our Steel Seeker back in because the amount of like, the amount of exile effects they got. Dang it. I need to change my sock. This one has a hole in it. Dude, when I was a kid, my my socks got holes in them all the time. But it's been years and suddenly my sock has a hole in it. I think it's because of how inactive I've been. But now that I've been walking, I've been walking a lot. I think that's why. It's just the constant friction, you know. I have to, like, figure out something else to wear while I walk. Uh, yesterday I walked a mile. That was pretty cool. All right, so... I think we'll keep this.
What what should I wear? What should I wear while I walk? Like flip flops or something? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll just go for Indotha Triome here. I'm in no rush to play things. Go barefoot. Oh no. I've always worn socks. I've always worn socks. I don't think I've ever, like, really went a day barefoot before. Stilettos. I've never worn heels. I don't know what it's like, and I don't know how people balance on those, but... All right, so... Go for... Let's go Temple Garden so we have our double green for potential finale. And then let's start dropping out these cookbooks and hopefully they don't get engineered explosived. And let's just start doing the, the daredevil thing here. If I can get Manufacturer out next turn, that would be very, very good. Oh no, the rip! Okay, so I need to find Saga so I can get my Haywire Might. Oh, but they're gonna Alpine Moon the Saga! No! Alright, well I straight up need to draw my Haywire Might. Dude, that is a lot of cookbooks. You know... I think we're like officially shut down now. All I'm relying on is a singleton haywire might that will probably get counterspelled. So I think it's scoop time. I think we just got to save some time here because if not, this is going to be a very long game. It's blue eye control. And this game has gone on long enough. Like, I don't like going up against blue eye control because of how dang long the games are. So we're just going to call that one because it pretty much at that point we know we lost. There's too much hate on the table that we only have one answer for. All right, so let's go on to game number five here against a D who we've played against before. We're going to be in the play. And uh, this looks like a keep. I think this is the first time today where we had an opening hand with three lands. comfy crocs dude crocs are the most hideous shoes ever but i've never worn them before i bet they're extremely comfortable i bet they're comfort shoes they're not like meant for looks obviously i think they're just straight up meant for comfort they got like holes in them so they're breathable but like another reason why i've never gone a day barefoot is because it's just hot like when you go barefoot, it's just your feet get so warm. I don't understand why or how. You would think that since they're breathing, you would think that they're they're cooler, but it's just the friction and stuff. It just makes them hot. I don't like it. All right, uh, let's go for basic planes and go for our Serenth. Oh, uh, is it? Oh, it's not blue eye control. Good. Okay, because it's a C chrome. Blue eye control wouldn't play C chrome. That's a cool art. It's got some big coral. I feel like I have a misunderstanding of what coral is because apparently there's something called coral inside of clams. And, um,. I know that because I, I occasionally watch this channel called The Fish Locker. It's a good channel if you like, I don't really watch his fishing videos, but I, I like to watch his coastal foraging videos. You should check it out if you like educational, like wildlife content. Go to The Fish Locker on YouTube and, and look at his coastal foraging. And he's like this guy from Wales. He's just like, it's a Welsh YouTube channel. And he like teaches a lot. You learn a lot of, of stuff about, like, a lot of stuff you didn't know about in that channel. It's a very good channel. And apparently clams have something in them called coral. Okay. 
Uh, yes, let's throw that in the graveyard because we're gonna get it back. Man, we have been lucky with our with our uh, Ser Serenth guy hitting uh, oval chases today. We've hit like four of them. <laughs> I think more than that. I just magnetize the top of the library whenever we get this guy. The cheat code. All right, so I have the option for Vindicator here, but I also have the option to get the, the Manufactor going. Um, let's actually... We can still play the, the Vindicator, so let's just go for Cookbook. And that'll give us Treasure Token. We can also go for Gilded Goose, too. All right, give us more. Oh, dude, they just magnetize to the top of our library whenever we have this guy. What the heck? They just magnetize up there. We're going to get so much value. Activate. Ditch Daredevil. Make a million tokens. All right, give us... Oh, they just scoop it up. Too much value. Let's go. All right, on to the sideboard against Affinity. Hiving Needle... Mm, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we can name Cranial Plating at the very least. Haywire Might can kill Cranial Plating and Urza Saga, right? Yeah. Push can be good. And, uh... That's it. So we will cut... Unearth, Sereth, Unearth, Sereth. And Sereth. Keep the singleton just so he can impress us again. Oval Chase bug, maybe it's like the Thoughtseize bug. They just magnetize to the top. Because in the last game against Blue Control, we had double Oval Chase back to back off that guy. And we did it again. All right, so uh, double Vindicator, double Cookbook, Asmerano. I'm going to keep it because Affinity won't have much removal other than Dispatch. And if I can get Asmerano to start poisoning stuff, that'd be good. I just need to find an Oval Chase. I'm going Dotha. See if they got their Urza Saga here. Maybe I should have mulliganed to find my own Urza Saga so I can get a Haywire Might. Looks like the opponents got the same start as they did before. All right, let's go Planes. We'll go Cookbook. And I'm going to ditch a Cookbook, actually. Go Asmerano. Go get another cookbook. All right. Well, at least we got the mana for our Vindicators now. So we can start food poisoning. Let's go. Portable hole. Oh, no. Rip the food poisoning. I was so excited we were finally going to do it again. Now would be a great time to draw Haywire Might. Ornithopter. But now I'm kind of tempted to like kill Portable Hole. <laughs> but no, we just gotta kill the Saga. But they don't have the land to like activate it. So I feel like I would kill the Portable Hole. Dogless Shrine. All right, Underworld Cookbook. And Tap Land Go. So Frexian Vindicator, if straight up, if damage would be dealt to it. So you can literally block anything with this. 
That's ridiculously good. So even if this guy becomes like a 7 7, we can still block him. And then I can shoot that damage to any other target to like their face. That's very good. All right, they have a backup saga, but now they have the spring leaf drum. They got another patchwork. Top monitor. And that's where it starts to spiral. Snowball. Poison the Vindicator sounds like the name of an emo band. Uh, maybe. I, I mean, I could see that because there's like bands like Motionless and White. I guess Poison the Vindicators is not too far off of that. All right, we're going to take a beating here. Play our Vindicator. Oh, we also have the Daredevil. So let's do that. If only we had the Asmorano. But as soon as I find of uh, what do you call that card? The searchy card. Finale of Devastation is over. It is GG once I find that. If I find that. The downward snowball. That sounds like um it sounds like a folk band. Thought monitor number two. See, I told you when once the thought monitor hits the table, it starts to just snowball into like a train of value and card draw. They're not making construct tokens though, that is great. I don't think the opponent can really attack. It's whenever it becomes a target of a spell or ability, right? Yeah, so I couldn't shoot that, but I'd be able to shoot their face. So they can attack. If they can get their patchwork one counter bigger, they can actually attack. No, they have a dispatch. I, I told you that was their removal they're going to have. Now I'm dead. All right, on to the board. Um... A Seiju can kill Saga, I guess. All right, let's do it. All right, Goose, Hookbook, Springleaf Drum, Manufacture. I'll keep it because of the Manufacture. Plus, the cookbook can give us a lot of value. And I am capable of turn two manufacturing here. Off of my goose, which I can't believe hasn't happened today. I feel like I want to build a food deck that also has like other mana dorks just to make sure you get a turn two academy off. Because that is very powerful if you can do it. Bring leaf drum. Ornithopter? Nope. All right, I'm slamming. Slamming the manufacturer. Yeah, let's do it. All right, portable hole. Gonna take care of my goose. At least I get to keep the good dude. 
And that's all they got. All right, off to a slow start this time. All right, Goose is great. Play Goose. Make all three tokens. Don't. No. Metallic Rebook. All right, well, let's go for Springleaf Drum. Float. And I could go Haywire and kill their portable hole, get back my goose. Um, or I could just go with the under Underworld Cookbook. But I have nothing particular I'd want to discard. I guess I wouldn't mind ditching Shadow Spear this game. Because I feel like there's more important targets for Haywire Might to hit. So I guess. I could do this now and ditch my Shadow Spear. I don't know, man. I I'm going to wait because there's still a chance I can top deck a Oval Chase Daredevil. All right, well, let me respond and ditch Shadow Spear. Don't you dare respond with Dispatch. No way! Oh my goodness, the opponent's just had it all. That's why I should have done it on my turn. The opponent's just mono control this game. Dispatch, double portable, metallic rebuke, no creatures. Literally, they've just morphed into blue eye control. Double Haywire might. Okay. Now we can deal with any sagas. I can get back my portable hole if I need it. We'll see. Esper Sentinel, literally just control. What the heck is that island? It's got a big old Megatron. It's got the Iron Giant on it. Kind of looks like the Iron Giant. Patchwork Automaton. Oh, they played that out of order. Uh, Mus Moscovich, MTG. Thank you so much for the follow. And also, I think you raided the other day, too. I think. Okay, I can blow up Patchwork if I need to. Just pass. I think I'll blow up Portable Hole get back my cookbook never mind i'll probably blow up nettle cyst or i can just use the resource that i currently have and exile it Because the Passage is more versatile, I'd rather hold on to it. <sighs> they get him for two, we'll take it. Give me some goodies. 
another cookbook. All right, past turn. You get it for two, we'll take it. Goose. Okay, that'll give us the ability to gain three life every turn, at the least. Hiving Needle. Probably gonna name Cookbook. Yeah, I'll let that happen because I have like three different things that are pretty good to name here and I don't know which one they're going to name. Survey says... They're thinking. It's a tough choice. Haywire Mite can kill the needle so that I can get back my cookbook. Yeah, they had to name the Haywire Mite because that was just going to kill the thing. All right, well, let's just uh, sack a food here. Dude, not really getting much. Um, past turn and just keep on making foods. All right, we'll take three. This game is really, really uninteresting. I'm yawning. I'm getting tired. I need something to happen. There's no action going on. Make some food. Goggle Shrine, play it tapped. Keep on doing the same thing. And just pass. <laughs> when is somebody gonna do something? <laughs> I need a Academy Manufacturer, that's what I need. Also wouldn't mind Asmerano. Finale. All right, I'll take three. All right, do the thing again. One of these days, somebody will draw something. I'm just scared that they have a counter spell in hand. Like another metallic rebuke, they probably do because they have like three or four of them in the deck. And the um, this the rate at which our opponent is clicking, I think they're definitely holding up counter magic because they're not yielding through the turn. There's a finale. All right, so if I do it right here for two, pay one for the, the Esper Sentinel. 
Okay. I may need to play my Masaju so I can... Or do I just let them draw? It feels wrong to lose my Masaju for nothing, but I'd rather not give them a free card. All right. I could do this for Phyrexian Vindicator. I could have done it for three. I could have done it for three for the Academy Manufacturer. But uh, I guess I didn't need to play Visage You. I have two sources of mana here. All right. I guess I didn't calculate correctly. But to be fair, my brain's kind of fried at this point. <laughs> this is all of this blue white we're facing. Disenchant. Okay. Gonna get another one. All right, so I do have the ability to kill their creatures now with the food. They have ward. So I'll have to wait until next turn, but I will be able to. I can make another food here. See, this is like where I would love to have that steel shaper guy. And there's a dispatch. I can make a food in response and kill the Esper Sentinel, but I don't think that really matters. I'd rather just save my food count so I can gain more life. I can't believe they haven't killed my, my goose a long time ago. The opponent's just getting greedy. Like, no, I want to save there's something that is more bigger. Like, I feel like they should have killed the goose when they had the chance because it's gained me so much life. I'd be dead by now if it wasn't for the goose. All right, um, a land I don't really need. I could just discard that. I don't really need to, though. I'll just hold on to it. Let's pass. This turn, I can crack two foods. All right, take three. Man, this is one of the most boring games of MTG I've ever played. It's just so pass, pass, pass. It's just such a, a, a say go type of game. All right. Back up to 12 where we started. Please give me something. Oh my goodness, this game is so uninteresting. Oh man, I want some action. Give me some action. They found a saga. All right. This is why I should have held on my Besage, but it was a misplay. It was a mistake on my part. I didn't count my lands correctly. But now, unfortunately, that is going to be what wins them the game. Unless I find some action here pretty soon. But I am so confident that they have counter magic in hand. Let's just fetch here. Then, I guess. Oh, I probably should have kept the Andatha in the deck so that I can cantrip with it if I drew it. Let's just crack both our foods. Screw it. If I need a food for the goose, I can just ditch the land. Give me something. Give me a Vindicator. 
okay, finale. If I do this for Vindicator, they'll probably just metallic rebuke. If I do it for one, two, three, four, five. If I do it for manufacturer. If I play the land. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, I can I can pay. Or um, I can pay for metallic rebuke. So I'm going to do it for um, manufacturer. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let them draw a card. Search library. Get manufacturer. I didn't need to shock this, but whatever. It's already done. What's done is done. Make food with the goose. Um, and I guess we'll just pass and then just hold up cracking the clue. All right, so now we have some game. Now we have some action. Please do not deal with my manufacturer. Please do not have any answer. Um, I'll take it. I have another Besaju in my deck, so I guess I can kill that Piving Needle eventually. Not that I have to, <laughs> because the Haywire might isn't really doing much. I could have just blocked it a long time ago. What do they find? Please tell. Oh my goodness, verdict! It's literally blue white control. It's literally blue white. Um. All right, we'll crack a clue here. Unearth. That is great. Okay, please give me an oval chase daredevil. I have never wanted an oval chase daredevil more than this moment. Give it to me. Um. Let's look at the graveyard. I can get back my manufacturer and then I can finale for what? Probably Asmirano. So let's unearth manufacturer. Because Asmorana will give me a card in my hand as discard fodder for my cookbook. Or I could go for Vindicator. But I'm so concerned about counter magic, though. I'm so concerned about Metallic Rebuke. I'm just going to go for Asmorano. I I'm just, I'm so aware of the counter spell. They have like three or four of these. Like, have you seen their deck? It's literally blue eye control. They, they got to have so many of those. If I get hit by a, a rebuke and get this countered, I would lose. So like, I have to play to my outs here. All right, give me Asmorano. This can give me a cookbook as discard fodder. That's my last cookbook. I could ditch it now to get a clue, but I also could wait a turn. I think I'm going to wait a turn and be patient. If anything happens, I can always ditch it in response. But now they're going to get a big old dude but I'm not dead. It's going to attack me for six. It's going to hurt, but I'm not dead. I just need a dang daredevil, man. I'm 30 cards deep. I'm half my library down and I have not found one. 
There's still four of them to draw. I have had pretty good luck today fighting them, but this game is just there avoiding me. Yeah, it's like whoever gets the saga just wins the game, basically. Wish I had my Besaju. It was my fault. I misplayed with it. There's the Shadow Spear. They can attack us for eight. Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I could have killed it with... Uh, yeah, I could have killed it with the food. I could have killed it with the food before it got big. That was my mistake. I could block it with Asmerado and then shoot it. Do I do that? I think I'm going to do it. Let's crack a clue first to see if it gives us anything else. Dang it. I could have done this before it got big. But again, my brain is fried at this point. All right, well, we committed. Do it. Just do it. Give me the goods, please. I need something. All right, so we'll go for discard the marsh flats. Crack a clue. Okay. Dude, if only I had one more cookbook in the deck, we'd be able to kill this. Because I'd be able to kill one of their artifacts. All right, well, 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 I have, I can kill their portable hole, get back my cookbook. But I have nothing to discard. I'd have nothing to discard. I can get back the, oh, the goose. That is a 200 IQ play. Asmerano. Say no, and then besage you on that, get the goose, get the food, kill the construct. Oh my goodness. Kill this. Kill this. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on. Did the opponent scoop? I think they scooped. What, what do you mean? Hold on. Cancel. Kill this. I'm clicking. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Crack a food or crack a clue. Not what we needed. All right. Uh, literally staying back. I just need to stabilize. Okay, we, we wiggled our way out of that one. Now the goose plus the manufacturer is going to go hard. This is a cool plains. These little Skyrim bushes. Cauldra out of nowhere? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Now I'm forced to block. This thing always gets in for five though, right? Dang, that's annoying. I think I gotta block with Asmerano, 
unfortunately. But it's first strike trample and it... Okay, no, 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 no. Will I take four damage because this only needs to deal one to this to exile it? Or will it still soak up three? Will it still soak up three? I don't have food. I don't have any food. Um, does, does anybody know? Will I take four? Or will I... How much will I take? One, this creature, it will soak up three. All right. I hope that's right. Okay. There's the dang oval chase. All right, ditch oval chase. Finally, if we had one of these a long time ago, the game would have been over. All right, crack a clue or crack a yeah, the clue. Push. Um. Push can kill the patchwork. All right, now we can go with um, making food. And now we just eat our food to, um, to live. We just we just eat two foods and go back up to eight. I just need a Phyrexian Vindicator. Oh my goodness, dude. I just need a Phyrexian Vindicator. Okay, that happens. I don't know if I crack this fetch or not. It'll put me to one. At this point, I think I need every mana I can get to everything or nothing, so let's just crack it. Get our last land. I need a way to get back my haywire might and kill the piving needle. That's what I need. Vindicator. Okay. All right, so I'm at a virtual four. Now they can't kill my guy because like I prevent all damage dealt to it and this is whenever this deals damage to a creature. And of course they just have a dispatch. GG. All right. We went 0-5 today. I feel like it was just a matter of bad matchups, honestly, because this 5 to league this deck 5-0 to leagues, so I feel like it was just a matter of bad matchups. 
because and also misplays i misplayed a few games of course um that was just my bad um this is definitely one of those decks that takes a little bit of practice a little bit of sequencing and a little bit of knowledge of, on what to do and what situations and what to grab and like what to set up because i certainly did not know what i was doing sometimes don't think asmerano is very good asmerano is amazing what are you talking about this is such a good card um it's like the whole reason this food archetype exists is because asmerano um i think the deck can be good it's just i played it wrong uh, in all honesty i think that's what happened we never really got to see much unearth synergies because i just hardly drew it with the cookbook and you know because like if you have like cookbook and unearth and like a, uh, one of these in your hand in the opener that's a play that i didn't get to do because i never drew them together so i just got all, also a lot of bad draws I had a mulligan got mana screwed sometimes so it, it was just like i drew bad i played bad and i also didn't know the ins and outs of the deck that's that's just basically what it came down to i can see how it 5 would a league though it has no clock well if you can get the vindicator out it can and you know as murano can put on the clock and kill things and be pretty tenacious you know the manufacturing gets so much value can find your stuff the urza saga tokens can block the opponent very well it it, it has some game and like i said for the millionth time in 5 to league um the problem isn't breaking up synergies it's the lack of a payoff what do you mean this is literally payoff dot deck it's literally get out vindicator that's the payoff because you kill you food poison it and it kills your opponent and another payoff is like Saga being able to work. It's just, it does have payoffs. It's just, you got to work up to them. And the mana is heinous. Um, I think that the, the mana base could use more. Um, like the mana base being only 22 lands, I think is not enough to, to have a set of four drops in your deck um however i can see why it's only 22 because the rest of the deck is pretty low end pretty cheap like the most expensive thing besides the vindicator is just manufacture and that's it so i can see why it's only 22 but there was a lot of times where we couldn't play vindicator because it's like we have to make a choice do we want to do saga or do we want to do vindicator i mean the saga can help build up to the vindicator eventually but then at that point it's too late in the game so it's just a deck that you really need to have the piloting skills for. I don't think it's a bad deck. I just think it needs some piloting skills, which I did not have because literally I play uh, two new decks every single week, which I have been for years. So yeah, that is going to do it for this one. And we're going to move on to Pioneer. So yeah, for those watching on Twitch, stay tuned. We got Pioneer to get to. And our Pioneer deck is super spicy and I'm very excited for for those watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment because interacting with the video in different types of ways like that really helps it out and helps the algorithm. And if you're new here, consider I'm speaking too quickly. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do Modern every Monday and Pioneer every Friday, so I'd love to have you here. That's the kind of thing. And if you want to check out my second YouTube channel based around the game Destiny 2, the link to that's down below. And if you want to check out the gameplay live on Twitch, we stream every single Saturday afternoon. The link to that is down below. And with that, I will catch you all in the next video. See you later.